Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective reading, so it's not necessarily intended for any sign specifically. Um, but I believe if you've clicked on this reading, if you've been uh, drawn to this reading, it's for a reason. Okay, there's obviously something that's pulled you here. So there may be a message or two that you might need to hear or even need reminding of. Um, it is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you guys are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So in today's reading, we're going to focus on the next 24 to 48 hours and what you can expect from the next 24 to 48 hours, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the cards predict for you for the next um, 24, 48, or even like 72 hours. Okay, obviously with the presence of death and the moon card here, there is a bit of, um, it's an uneasiness. There is a bit of um, anxiety, a bit of uh, uncertainty, or even some insecurities that I'm picking up in the energy. So the next 24 to 48 hours might be a little bit intense, okay? It might be a little bit uncomfortable for some of you, only because, um, especially for those of you that do suffer from anxiety, um, or do have certain insecurities that they're trying to work through, I feel like you potentially might be triggered um, or you're, you, you might find that your anxiety might be heightened. Could be because you're exposed to um, a certain situation that I feel like might sort of, you know, fuel that tension or fuel that fear or that anxiety or that uncertainty. So if you can try and avoid putting yourself in a situation where... Um, it's going to make you feel uncomfortable or it's going to, you know, make you feel insecure about yourself or um, heighten your anxiety in any way, shape or form, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that there is someone here, okay? For a lot of you, there is someone here that you're connected to, okay? It could be romantically. It could be a romantic energy, but this is someone whom I feel like you've had a turbulent past with this individual, Okay? Could be um, a connecting energy, someone that you're connected to, um, could be a family member, a close friend, but I'm seeing there's some turbulency, there's some tension in the energies there. Um, the Six of Swords does indicate troubled waters, so I'm seeing that someone wants to move away from something, okay? Could be you though. There could be uh, some source of tension here. There could be um, a disagreement, a fight, or a disconnection that you had with this person, or you might have just had a lot of turbulency with this individual, and you're wanting to move away from it, okay? You're wanting to, you know, put the past in the past. Um, you're wanting to come to some sort of resolution. You're wanting to work things out, but it could also very well be how your person might feel as well. Maybe they want to apologize here, Maybe they want to offer you some sort of explanation. Maybe they want to work things out and, you know, aim for a resolution of some sort. But I do see that someone here whom you're having or have had um, some turbulency with this person and your connection with them. This is someone who wants to sail away, okay, sail away from those troubled waters and they want to, you know, sail into smooth, calm, serene waters. So this is someone who is like, you both said and done things that have hurt each other, okay, uh, but definitely someone who wants to move away from that, and it's like this person does want a new beginning with you, someone does want um, a new start, someone does want, 
you know, to unfold a new chapter. I'm picking up with the moon card because it's quite cyclical in nature, right? The moon, the moon grows through, goes, sorry, through stages of growth and of decline. And I feel like there's something here that's very, um, there's something in the energies that seems to be a little bit inconsistent. Like there's, um, it could be a relationship, it could be a connection, it could be your emotional state, okay? You're, you might find yourself feeling really emotionally scattered, okay? And that could also play into that anxiety or this insecure energy that we are picking up. I feel like with Death Card, there is some sort of fear here that I'm sensing for a lot of you guys. And a lot of you, I feel like, are living in... I'm going to say in fear about a certain situation, okay? Now, that situation could have something to do with reaching out to someone and communicating. Um, I feel like there's an element of fear there because you potentially might be scared to connect with this person. Um, maybe because of this, you know, um, recent turn of events that you've had with them. Maybe the fact that you guys haven't spoken in so long. Maybe the fact that when you guys did last speak and you last saw each other, things were a little bit tense or uncomfortable. It could be how your person is feeling, okay? Someone who wants to reach out and wants to connect with you um, and they want to, you know, put the past behind and they want to, um, they want a reconciliation. They want to, you know, reconnect and reunite with you here, but they're scared, okay? And the fear is what's sort of stopping them. And the moon card, I feel like this is someone who feels a little bit uncertain and they're not sure, they're not necessarily sure whether this connection has a future or whether this connection can be restored or whether reconciliation they want it, but they're not really sure if this is the best thing for the both of you right now. So there is this energy of fear, okay? Fear of things not working out, fear of this not being the right time. Um, outside of a romantic situation, there is, for a lot of you, I do think that there's you know, you're wanting to make some sort of big move, but you're scared. And I think that's what's, that is exactly this, it's this energy of fear that has kept you stuck. Okay. Especially with the six of swords energy as well. It's like, there's something here and because the moon is quite cyclical in nature, I feel like, you know, you keep getting the same results because you've been taking the same action. So it's time to take new action so you can achieve new results because, it feels like you're going around and around in um, in circles, okay? It might feel like you're on a hamster wheel and you want to get off. It might feel like you're chasing your tail here. That's because of the, you know, the choices and the decisions that you've been making concerning your situation or concerning a certain situation with someone here. So, um, and, and you're scared. You're scared to do, you know, you're scared to make, you might be scared to make a move. And this bold move, that I see in the energies, it does require movement. So for some of you, it's like making a move towards a person. Um, for others, it's like moving outside of your comfort zone, that kind of energy. And even though your comfort zone might not necessarily be very comfortable, you have somehow become complacent there and you have somehow found comfort in, a, you know, um, in this in discomfort, if that makes sense. So there is this... Some of you are like, should you do it? Shouldn't you do it? You know, should you should you stay or should you go? Should you move? Should you give this thing a try? Should you travel? Should you go here? Should you stay there? It's this kind of energy. And I see that kind of energy. Uh, I feel like you've been in this energy for quite some time. And this isn't for all of you. It's just for those who are going to resonate with, with this. But I feel like you've just been in this sense of stuckness, right? You take one step forward and then two steps back. And only to end up where you began. So... I feel like you need to push the fear aside, okay? Whatever it is that you're fearing here is what's keeping you stuck. It's what's holding you back. It's this, you know, and you're giving it power. And whatever you give power to will have power over you, okay? And it could be something as little as reaching out and connecting with someone from the past. It could be reaching out and, you know, extending an olive branch or an apology. It could be something a little bit bigger, where you're wanting to relocate, move houses, uh, maybe do some traveling, maybe go to go visit a foreign city, shores or a country. Um, but it does require that you move. And guess what? New action is going to almost certainly get you new opportunities and new results. So that's something to consider. Okay, some of you are, you know, you're scared, but it's okay. It's okay to be scared and it's okay to acknowledge that you're afraid. You're afraid of things not working out for you. You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of, you know, 
stepping outside and doing something differently whatever it is that you're afraid of because there is a multitude of sorts so i don't think it's just one thing i think it's one thing but i think it's sort of um accumulated over time but whatever it is you can still play the fee and just do it anyways um I see a romantic energy with the Knight of Cups and his position just above the Wheel of Fortune. So for the next 24 to 48 hours, there potentially might be some contact between you and a romantic connection. But this energy that is coming in, this person has the grace of the Knight of Cups. So they're not, unlike the Knight of Wands, this person isn't necessarily rushing in towards you. That doesn't change their attraction for you. It doesn't. To me, this is a very romantic, a very seductive kind of energy, the Knight of Cups. He is, you know... Um, the romance of seduction right so this is someone who is attracted to you and i think has been attracted to you for quite some time it could very well be a past energy okay someone from your past that you've had this turbulency with okay this is someone who is trying to reach you someone who's trying to connect with you i feel like they've been trying to connect with you energetically so if this person hasn't been communicating with you i feel like they've been thinking about you you've been on their mind and i think they've been trying to reach you um in that way but I also feel like their next step is to try and contact you in the 3d because they've put that you know they've put their vibrational frequency out there and I think they have been reaching you because I do think this is someone who has been on your mind so you know um, your antenna has definitely picked up on their energy waves so I do see that there's someone here that you've been thinking about who has also been thinking about you and I feel like that's the reason why you have been thinking about this person so much just because they also have been on your mind so do expect um, either expect for this person to reach you energetically okay so you and it's almost like you might feel the energy pulling on yours okay um, you might feel the energy you might have dreams about them you might start seeing a lot of like hearing their name almost everywhere you go which is going to be very like a strange um, experience because all of a sudden you'll just hear their name or you'll see, see and read their name everywhere. Uh, this is them trying to reach you. This is them trying to stay in touch with you. This is them trying to stay connected to you. Because I do think there's a bit of a disconnection right now, emotionally or physically. For others of you, I do think this is going to extend into the 3D. So I do see that, like this person, you know, um, communicating with you, like sending text messages, uh, giving you a call. So this person is then going to want to extend their reach um i don't know why but there's this energy of them feeling like access to you is being denied a little bit so maybe things you know things haven't been so good between the both of you maybe you guys have separated you're just dis you're disconnected maybe you're going through something turbulent right but this person almost feels like their access to you is restricted or their access to you is limited uh they want to reach out and i feel like they're nervous as well okay um given you know the presence of death and the moon card i do think this person has been thinking about you and because the moon is so big on intuition i feel like you've intuitively you've been picking up on this okay you've been even though they haven't connected with you you've been dreaming about them a lot um or this person has been dreaming about you a lot but i think that intuitively you are getting a lot of intuitive nudges and gut feelings and a lot of intuitive associations to say that this person has been thinking about you you've been on their mind they're wanting to connect with you they're wanting to reach you okay so i do think yeah i do think someone he has in fact i feel like someone may have even dreamt about you last night here this is what i see i feel like this person may have even dreamt you dreamt about you last night and i think this is what's going to push them to reach out and contact you this is what's going to push them because um you know whatever the details of their dream i feel like it will give them that little bit of a nudge that little bit you know that little bit of an edge that they need to reach out and contact you because they are nervous i feel like they're nervous about reaching out to you look i feel like it's a multitude of things you know they may they might fear rejection maybe they feel like you don't want to hear from them maybe you guys left things really awkwardly the last time you spoke um i don't know maybe there's been a lot of tension in the air so this person like they want to connect with you um and maybe you guys have blocked each other you haven't been communicating with each other maybe that's the whole you know access restricted access denied thing but i feel like yeah no i feel like someone okay 
either this person has dreamt about you last night, they had a dream about you last night, or they have been dreaming about you very frequently. Um, this is what's going to cause them to want to reach out, okay? Because I said the Knight of Cups is a slow moving energy, um, I do think this has been like this has been playing on their mind for quite some time. So they've kind of been going around in circles about whether or not to communicate with you, whether or not to reach out. But I think it's this very dream that they have. It's 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 the, the very dream that they have. Okay, because the moon comes and visits us at night, right? So it's this dream that they have about you that I feel like is going to because when they wake up from this dream, they'll, it went, you know, one of them dreams that feel really real and feel really intense and it's hard to separate the dream from reality. That's what it feels like. It's one of those dreams where this person wakes up and can like feel your presence and, you know, they wish they hadn't woken up from their dream because it was just like you were together in their dream and things were good. Things were really good between the both of you. And they're going to want that back. They want, they're going to want to go back to a place with you when things were great, okay? To like a happy place where you guys were genuinely happy with each other, with the connection. Um, and they're going to want that. They, they miss that. So I do see, you know, this person reaching out, contacting you. Could happen in a matter of 24 to 48 um, might even be 72 hours, okay? Now, for some of you, I did say there's going to be contact or communication. There's going to be several text messages, so I think that's what's going to get the ball rolling between the two of you. So this person is, you know, you guys are texting back and forth. There's an element of long distance here. Either this person is at a distance to you, okay? Um, so, you know, this is some, or this may have been a long distance relationship at one point in time. Maybe this person lives further away from you and that's creating a bit of a geographical distance. Maybe this person does a lot of traveling for work. Um, or it could also be that this person is going to reach out like via digital communication. Um, the whole distance thing doesn't have to be geographical, but it could be them being at like them having physically pulled away from you or you having physically pulled away from each other. Um, okay, but I do feel like doesn't matter the distance I feel like that can be bridged if the two of you want a future together you will find a way to you know be in each other's future to make that happen so a lot of communicating a lot of text messages back and forth um, and I do like this because you guys the communication is very honest and it's very transparent and I think that when you guys are going to sync back up I think it's going to like a conversation I think is going to propel things forward okay because eight of wands is a lot of forward movement i also see something i don't know if it's you or i don't know if it's this person someone is mentioning something about like traveling or coming to see you or you're going to see them okay so this person wants to see you um, in an exchange of a beautiful energy um look for others it and mind you guys the energies could be reversed so maybe you are the one that ends up having a dream about this person last night you wake up and then you'll hear from them in the morning that's because you know regardless of the way it happens whether it's you that has a dream about them whether it's them that has a dream about you whether it's the both of you dreaming about each other um regardless how it happens the eight of wands seems to indicate that there is alignment with you okay eight of wands eight of cups look out for 8 p.m or 8 a.m or even the number eight like um, eight like text messages maybe or like a missed call at eight, something like that. Um, but that's because you're in alignment with each other. Okay, so if you guys fell out of balance, if you guys fell out of sync, if you guys, you know, sort of drifted apart from each other, you're now, your energies are sinking back up. Your energies are sinking back up. You're becoming in tune to one another and you're responding to each other's vibrational frequency. So a beautiful energy of alignment. And this is why, you know, if things weren't working so well before, it's because you guys were misaligned. But now you, now that you guys are, you know, coming into alignment just as you were in the beginning of the connection, this is when the forward momentum is kicking in, okay? So do expect some, un, I'm not going to say unexpected communication. I was about to say unexpected communication, but I think for a lot of you, given that the intuition card is here, intuitively, you knew that you were going to hear from them. And I think if you're the one that wakes up and has the dream about them you know that that dream is not random like you know that that dream has been purposeful and you will feel it even if you doubt it you will still feel like 
okay, you're going to hear from this person very soon. Okay, so it's a very strong, intuitive energy. Um, for others of you, this person may not necessarily contact you via text message or may not necessarily contact you, um, you know, via digital communication. Like, um, you potent for some of you, you potentially could bump into this person. Okay, what may seem very innocently is actually um, divinely, you've been divinely guided to each other. It's actually divine, you know, orchestration. Uh, what might just seem like an innocent, uh, innocent casual meeting. Um, for others of you, I feel like this person is still struggling with the state of anxiety, um, with this, you know, with their nerves and with the tension here, that even though they want to reach out to you, they're very nervous about it, and they may be writing and rewriting their messages to you, and they may not just have the confidence to hit send right away. So they're trying to, they're still trying to connect with you, okay, and you'll still feel on their energy, their energy pulling on yours, or they'll feel your energy pulling on theirs but there's just this hesitancy there's just a bit of a struggle um happening that's because you guys you know you're still coming into alignment that's that's still there's a bit of a struggle there that whole lining up tuning into each other's frequencies so just be patient and you will you will, eventually you will hear from them okay sooner rather than later but it might not be as soon as the next 24 to 48 hours for some of you guys okay this person is still this person is struggling what they're struggling with is honestly they're struggling to realize that you are the one for them um they're struggling to identify with this connection because this person they can, what they realize is there is something very unique about you and there is something very unique about this connection that you have or that you've had with this individual they recognize that but because they you know it's so unique and they haven't had that before that's what they're struggling with it's like yeah it's special yeah it's different but what is it? Okay. And this could be the type of person that doesn't necessarily believe in soulmates or twin flames um, or, you know, doesn't really know about them. So they may be struggling to, you know, you could be a soulmate or a twin flame connection, but this person is struggling to understand it and recognize it. Um, Eight of Pentacles, I do see you working on something. So you could be working on, you know, rebuilding this connection, restoring this balance uh with this person you could be um you know trying to work towards a reconciliation because whatever it is it's a very focused energy for others of you it's something more practical there is something here that i feel like you're going to be really working on intensely over the next 24 to 48 hours so it could be a project okay it could be a work project a work assignment of some sort it could be a hobby it could be something like if you're an artist you could potentially get um really inspired okay and inspiration is everywhere right you could really get inspired and you could just um i see you really working intensely it's like you're there's a lot of attention to detail whatever it is that you're doing here um understand that whatever it is that you're working on in particular now i think i see it like it's gonna pay off i see that either this is a hobby that's going to then generate you an income in the future this is like it's a hobby, but eventually you're going to find a way to turn it into a money-making ID, or it's like a business that is going to go, um, you know, that is going to become very successful. Or if you're working on some sort of project, I see this being becoming very lucrative, and it's paying off. For some of you, it's paying off financially. Okay, um, a nice little paycheck there for you. For others of you, it's not necessarily not that it pays off, um, but not necessarily materially. It's like Whatever it is that you do, you find joy, you find fulfillment in it, you find a purpose in it, like it gives you meaning. I mean, and that right there, and you can't put a value on that, right? That right there is just so valuable. So whatever it is that you're working on with the Eight of Pentacles energy, this is, I feel like it's so much an extension of you, okay? So if you're building something, I feel like it's just so much a reflection of you and your character. If you're working and creating something... It's just that you're really like putting your heart and soul into this. Um, and you have the Wheel of Fortune, which of course is fate, which of course is destiny. I feel like there's some sort of major shift in the energies that are going to take place the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, I feel like it's going to affect different areas of your life. This could be a major shift between you and this romantic energy that you're going to connect with, okay? Um, whether digitally like, or emotionally. Um, it's like some sort of turning point or it could be that a decision that you make that is going to 
um, that is going to take place within the next 24 to 48 hours, I feel like is going to change. I mean, it's so dramatic when we say it's going to change everything, but I feel like it really will. Honestly, I feel like a decision that you make is going to change. It's going to change you and it's going to change so it's going to affect positively so many different areas in your life. Um, and it's going to open up doors where there, there weren't any before. Like it's, it's some pretty, it's a big deal. It's, I feel like this, it's very opportunistic here. Remember how at the start of the reading we spoke about, you know, um, you maybe stuck in a hamster wheel and you needing to make new action, new choices, new and take new actions and whatnot. I feel like some of you are finally going to decide to do that. Um, and it could be a small action that might have really big consequences. It could have, it could be big action that might even have bigger consequences. Um, but I feel like you're finally doing something that the energy that I'm seeing here has a pull energy. So whatever it is that you're going to, whatever action or decision you're going to make, you're committing to it. And it's got this pull energy. It's pulling on you. Okay. It's not pushing you. You're not being pushed to go towards this person or to go towards this thing, um, or chase this, you know, opportunity, you're being pulled, you're being called, um, which is a huge indicator that this person or this very thing is written in your destiny, okay, so the decision that you make, absolutely, I feel like is, is like you're destined to meet this person, you're destined to reconnect with this person, okay, you're destined to travel, you're destined to get this opportunity, you're destined to pursue this opportunity, you're destined to make a success of yourself, you know, you're destined to move outside of the comfort of your castle walls and, you know, grow and evolve and expand, um, you're destined for a new cycle, for a new beginning, okay, you're destined for this new love or whether it's an old love coming in as a renewed energy it's very much interwoven into your destiny okay so especially if anything has like if you feel if you find yourself being pulled to to do something or pulled to you know to go someplace or to achieve something don't ignore that energy that is so important and look not everyone might know what i'm talking about and if it doesn't resonate with you maybe you're just not there Maybe you just haven't found your pull yet, okay? But for those of you that resonate with this, for those of you that understand what I mean when I say, you know, something is pulling on you, like if you've been wanting to travel, that's because there's, you know, your destiny is wherever it is that you're being called, you're being pulled to go, okay? And this is the universe's way of calling you, okay? And you answering the call is then you taking the action and making the decision to do so. Um, if you're pulled, you know, to, you're being pulled to write a certain book, that too is in your destiny, okay? And it's calling you because, yeah, sure, the story might have been told by you, by, you know, before, but not by you. So there is something that I feel like just has this strong element of fate, this strong element of destiny, Okay, and if you do hear from someone, if you do hear from someone over the next 24 to 48 hours, this romantic energy, um, then, you know, this person is destined, this person is fated to come back to you, they're fated to be with you, you know, you're fated to work this out, you know, you're being pulled towards a reconciliation. Or if you find yourself, you know, really drawn towards a particular person, um, that is very much, you know, that person is very much a part of your destiny or will very much become a part of your destiny. So basically don't ignore this pull energy, okay? Push and pull are two very different things. If you feel like you need to be pushed to do this, you need to be pushed to write something, you need to be pushed, you know, to make contact with someone, it's just a different kind of energy, okay? That's not the energy that I'm talking about here. The pull energy is where just like it calls you, it pulls on your energy, okay? So not everyone will resonate, but for those that do, do not ignore that. That is so powerful and that is so intense. And if you do respond to that energy, honestly, amazing, wonderful things will happen for you.
destiny will happen for you. Fulfillment will come of it because you are fulfilling your destiny. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at there. So a few different messages for the next 24 to 48 hours, um, but pretty intense stuff. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. Bye for now.